Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is set to introduce over eight new characters in this film as well as really introducing all the different connections to the prequels and the originals that will be used in a way in order to move many of the new and the sequel trilogy characters forward from start to finish of this film and the story by director J.J. Abrams. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. So one interesting point about the sequel trilogy is of course one of the most mysterious characters that of course being Supreme Leader Snoke. Ever since his introduction in The Force Awakens by director and writer J.J. Abrams, a lot, of a lot of fans have always been wondering about his backstory, who he really is, exactly where he comes from, and what characters he once interacted with before the events of the sequels. And what's great about Episode 9 is that a lot of that will be explained in this movie, especially the origins of the First Order as well as Snoke's backstory and how it played a role in the rise of the First Order. Now these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for Supreme Leader Snoke and Ezra Bridger. Now specifically, it's described that one of the concept art descriptions goes over a moment in which the Knights of Ren and Kylo Ren enter of what's said to be an abandoned First Order base that was originally intended to be the headquarters during Snoke's rule. It's described that eventually Eventually, Kylo and the Knights break through a blast door to where they discover many of Snoke's belongings and personal items. One section within Snoke's vault has to do with many Jedi relics that Snoke had collected and had ordered to be stolen from abandoned Jedi temples, one of which was a bracelet that belonged to Ezra Bridger that would make one more powerful with the Force during his time in the Unknown Regions, that Snoke somehow got his hands on this relic. Additionally, it's described that during Rey's time in the Lost City, specifically within the the land of warriors, and discovering the statue of Ezra Bridger, she comes across his journal stored within. One of the pages within Ezra's journal explains that, Ev that Ezra had once connected with an ancient, powerful, dark entity during his time in the Unknown Regions that was trying to lure him to the dark side of the Force. That entity ended up being Supreme Leader Snoke, and that Snoke at one point in time before Kylo replaced Snoke's other apprentice is that Snoke had all eyes on Ezra Bridger during his time in the unknown regions. So first things I want to go over is, wow, this is very interesting and connects directly to the very end of Star Wars Rebels Season 4, where we do see both Ezra and Thrawn jump to hyperspace and go to the unknown regions, where a lot of fans were always left wondering exactly whatever happened to Ezra Bridger. Now in case you guys did not know, Prior to the events of the sequel trilogy and prior to the First Order being a known thing to the New Republic and the Resistance and whatever have you, during the events before all right, the sequel trilogy, Snoke was actually building the First Order in the Unknown Regions, hiding near different star systems and near actual stars by solar radiation to block his location. Now, what's really intriguing about all of this is that when Kylo Ren and the Knights of Ren go into the First Order headquarters, they discover a Jedi relic, a bracelet of some kind that is said to make one force sensitive very much more powerful during their time in the Unknown Regions, and that this was once actually an item that belonged to Ezra Bridger. And on top of all of this, the more interesting side of the story is that during Rey's travels to the Lost City within the Land of Warriors, she comes across Ezra Bridger's statue, and in that statue, she discovers the journal of Ezra Bridger. And within that journal, it's actually unveiled that Snoke had once tried to lure Ezra Bridger to the dark side of the Force. Now, as I have gone over before in the past, there's a lot of hints and or indicators that Snoke is indeed Emperor Palpatine, or was um, Emperor Palpatine all along, at least during the events of the sequel trilogy, but not beforehand. Now, if you guys have actually go ahead and watch Star Wars Rebels Season 4, we do know that Ezra and Palpatine had interactions with each other, especially in the worlds between worlds, where Ezra is trying to grab, or should I say, where Palpatine is trying to grab Ezra Bridger through the portal. Very interesting part of the story, so I digress. Snoke actually trying to reach out to Ezra and mentally connecting with Ezra Bridger, and how Ezra explains in the journal that Rey is reading that he had once mentally connected with a dark side energy, or entity if you will, that ended up being Supreme Leader Snoke, and that Snoke had all eyes on Ezra Bridger before Kylo Ren came in as Snoke's new apprentice. 
very interesting side of the story, and I think that this is exactly why J.J. Abrams had a lot of discussions with, G with of course, Dave Filoni, who is the showrunner of Star Wars Rebels. You know, while J.J. was writing the script, and even during principal photography, there were a lot of discussions between J.J. and Dave Filoni and among other creators in order to really keep the continuity in place and to connect a lot of these stories together into one big epic movie. So that's the very interesting side of Episode 9 is that it is going to have all these different connections between all of our fan favorite characters with the newer characters as well. Anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.